one of the things that I'm most curious about is when did you start this identification with geekdom? Help people who might not identify with the phrase understand that there's probably a little geek in them as well. I, I categorically agree. I bet all of your listeners are obsessed with what they do professionally, but my guess is they also have a thing in their lives that they just spend lots of cycles on, right? Whether or not it's their paycheck, they have a thing that they spend lots of cycles on and where they don't mind being weird in the eyes of the mainstream. My guess is that every, just about every one of your listeners is a geek. And I am super grateful to my parents because I think I got my introduction to geekdom really, really early in life. I talk in the book, I talk in the geek way about the person who I think is the patron saint of geeks. And it's not Elon, uh, although he's an amazing geek. It's not Nikolai Tesla. It's not Richard Feynman. For me, the patron saint of geeks is Maria Montessori, who was this educational innovator more than 100 years ago in Italy. And there are still Montessori schools all around the world today. And when I was, I, I think, not any older than three, my parents enrolled me in a Montessori school. And it was this environment that did away with all the trappings and all of the equipment of industrial era education, you know, grids of desks and all that. And Maria said, no, that, that's, that's not how kids learn. The way young children learn, she said, they are inherently deeply, deeply curious people. And the way they learn is by just getting to explore environments that are set up to teach them things that, that we want to teach them. And so I just remember from the earliest years of my schooling, the notion that I had and that school encouraged as opposed to discouraged, was the notion that the world is a really, really interesting place. And my job, even as a little bitty kid, my job is to go poke it and learn about it and ask questions about it and try to get smarter about it. You probably know there's a thing called the Montessori Mafia in tech circles. It turns out that both Larry and Sergey were Montessori kids. Jeff Bezos was a Montessori kid. And some researchers looked at this and they found a disproportionate percentage of builders, of creators, of entrepreneurs had this kind of very geeky, non-traditional early childhood education. And I think that puts you on a trajectory where even if you have to go into standard schooling later, and I did later in my life, it doesn't drive all the geekiness out of you, thank heaven. 